everybody, it's Big Al with J&J True Outdoor Adventures. Today is October the uh, 6th, I believe, uh, 2020. I'm over here at the hunting club by myself today. Jody and Jared had to work. Uh, it is a Tuesday. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a morning hunt. I do have some things to do today, so I'm not going to be in here for very long. A few hours, anyways, maybe. A couple to a few hours. Um... It is breaking daylight. I did get a kind of a late start. Um, I'm not going to be in a real big hurry to get in. I'm going to take my time, walk in, get set up. Uh, might jump something going in, see something going in, get a shot at it. And uh, if I take my time going in, you know, I might not spook anything that's close by. So uh, we'll, we'll see. And then uh, when we get in the stand, uh, we see anything, we'll get some uh, video of it. Uh, maybe get a video of a good shot if I get a good one coming in to a good doe or a good buck coming in that I can get a shot at. So uh, stay tuned to j, j True Outdoor Adventures. And remember, I'll see you in the woods. Hey, everybody. It's me again. Sorry about that. My camera's on the arm right now. I'm in my tree stand and getting ready to do some hunting so let me get my glasses unfold get over here get set up let's do some hunting stay tuned hey everybody i've been in here for a couple hours um not seen or heard anything except a bunch of chipmunks still in my corn uh like i said i have some stuff i gotta get done today i might come back in for an evening hunt um if not i will be back in here tomorrow morning so um because i got the next two days off. Well, I have three days today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So uh, I'll be in here the next three days. And so hopefully maybe one of these days I'll get lucky and see one. So uh, anyways, I guess this is going to be it for now. Um, stay tuned to J&J True Outdoor Adventures. This is Big Al, and I'll see you in the woods. Hey everybody, Big Al, J&J True Outdoor Adventures. Today is uh, October the 8th, 2020. Um, I'm over here at the hunting club again. I was going to come yesterday, but things just didn't work out right. But anyways, I'm over here today. Uh, it is 627 in the a.m. And uh, it's just barely, barely starting to break daylight. Uh, I don't have my hand lamp with me, so I'm going to wait until it breaks daylight a little bit to go in. My feeder goes off about 7 o'clock, so I'm going to take my time and ease my way through this part of the woods. Uh, get down there either maybe right as or maybe a little bit after my feeder went off, enough to get in the tree and get set up for something maybe to come in. Uh, I will be over here for a few hours today, see how things go. It's supposed to get a little bit warmer after a while. Uh, maybe with a little bit of the Lord's luck, uh, one will come through and I'll be able to tag it. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, if not, uh, we're going to try to get things worked around to where we can be over here Saturday. I know it's supposed to, uh, rain, I think Friday and, uh, which we do have our umbrellas and everything up on the tree, but you know, sometimes when it rains, it pours. And when it does that, there's no sense in even going out. So... Anyways, like I said, stick with me. Uh, we'll see what we can get done today. Maybe get something on video or something on video after I've got it or something. We'll, we'll try to figure something out. So stay with J&J uh, &J True Outdoor Adventures, and I'll see you in the woods. Hey, everybody. It's Big Al with J&J True Outdoor Adventures. Today's October the 9th, 2020. Uh... Didn't get video yesterday. Let me explain why. I was not in the woods yesterday. I was over here. But Big Al got a bug of some sort. And I had to go home. I could not stay in the woods. Uh, it was bad. I had to go home. So, but on the way home, when I left here, I locked our gate like we do was going down to where we used to park, and guess what was standing there? Not one of my bucks, but both of my bucks. Both eight points were standing there eating acorns off the road. 
they turned and shot back up in the woods towards my stand. Just my luck. So, I go and leave. On my way out from where our lease is, there's a house on the left-hand side. Well, there's a few houses, but there's a big house on the left-hand side of the road. And there used to be an old garage there. And there's a little field in between. It had like seven deer sitting in it feeding. Well, I pull off the side of the road uh, on the way home because I felt kind of ill. And when I pulled off the side of the road, I'm sitting there, you know, seeing if it'll pass, which it did. Happened to look in my rearview mirror, and guess what? Two deer pop out, sitting there feeding. Just my luck, yesterday was probably the best day to be in the woods, and Big Al gets sick, or has a bug. I'm not sick, I just had a bug. No, it's not COVID, so don't have to worry about that. But anyways, it is uh, 6-12. I'm going to be heading in here in just a little bit. I'm going to take my time to go down to my feeder. Uh, as you can tell, i got my headlamp right there. But uh, I am going to be going in a little bit early, maybe about 6-30. 6-30, 6-40, somewhere around 6-45, somewhere around in there. It takes me approximately 10, 15 minutes to get in my stand. So, <clears throat> anyways... That's what I'm going to be doing today. I will be in here for a few hours. Hopefully, I'll see something, and we'll get it on video and uh, make a great day out of it. And uh, hopefully, I can tag one and bring it home. So, anyway, just want to let y'all know that we're over here on the hunting club, where I am. Jody and Jared had to work today, and uh, they're planning on coming over tomorrow. I got to work tonight from midnight to 8 in the morning, but I'm going to see if I can skip out few hours early in the morning because no one's there so anyways uh stick with jane j true outdoor adventures and i'll see you in the woods hey everybody <clears throat> i'm in my tree stand um all quiet up here i haven't heard anything as of yet it is early so uh, I'm going to be in here for a little while, and uh, hopefully we'll catch one coming in. I don't care if it's a buck or a doe, we get one coming in, I'm going to tag it. I need meat. So uh, hopefully today will be a good day. Stay tuned. We'll keep our eyes out and see what we see. I'll be back with you all in a bit. Hey, everybody. It's me, Big Al. Um, I have not seen, nor heard, nor smelled, or felt anything that looks like a deer this morning. Uh, it's been quiet. All I've had is chipmunks around me and birds and crows. I think my feeder's empty. And blue jays. But uh, I think my feeder's empty. I might have to go get me a bag of corn. I might come back in this evening and feed it, fill it. I don't know. I'll talk to my talk to Juddy and see what he says. See if he's just gonna feel his tomorrow or what. But uh anyways, I think it's going that's gonna do it for me today. Nothing's coming in, there's no sense in setting. And I just heard a dog a few minutes ago down here in my bottom. My bottom's that way in front of me. A uh, big dog. Uh, it has a uh, uh sound like a hound, a coon hound running something and I gotta swore I seen something on my other hillside over here take off when he come through and then he quit so I don't know that was gonna be a good day but I don't guess it is so anyways uh, we'll see you next time I guess I'll try to see you tomorrow if I can um, anyways this is Big Al with J&J True Outdoor Adventures uh, subscribe to us, watch us, you know, leave comments, we'll, we'll get back with you. So, uh, stay with us, and, uh, I'll see you in the woods. Morning, everybody. This is October the 10th. That's Saturday. We're headed over to the hunting lease, do a little bow hunting. 
biggest issue is we got right now, it's raining. Right now it's a light rain, but I think it's supposed to get heavier throughout the day. Uh, we're only hunting a half a day. Uh, my granddaughter is supposed to have a, a ball game at one. I don't know if that'll still happen or not, but we're on our way. So uh, stay tuned. Jared is driving his own truck. Alvin will come in about 8.30, quarter to nine, cause uh, he uh, had to work last night, got off this morning. So we'll see you over at the woods. Stay tuned. Well, I'm here. Uh, Jared hasn't made it yet. It's uh, 6 30, 31. And uh, I just checked the weather forecast and it's going to rain all day. The percentages change. Right now it's 46%. It is a light drizzle. By 8 o'clock, I believe it was up to 51%. By 9 o'clock, 71%. And then it just keeps on going up higher. So this may be a very short hunt this morning. Uh, like I said, we plan on leaving at about 11. Uh, really don't know if the granddaughter will have a game. You know, with COVID going on and everything, she, you know, she's cheerleading for uh, midget league football. Uh, are they going to put these kids out in the rain, uh, getting wet? on a grassy field so they're going to get muddy uh, or, or will they cancel the game i don't know but like i said we're here got my cup of coffee i'm just kind of waiting on jared to get here he should be on his way so just stay tuned to j and j true outdoor adventures and we'll see you in the woods Orange jacket that we have like this, how well it holds heat. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This one's just as bad. Well, no wonder it's the same jacket, it's just it's camo.
the morning I pie. Jared and I are in here hunting for about 11. And uh, of course it's raining. Feeders just went off. The owl's not making it in today because it's raining. And of course he worked till 8 o'clock this morning. And uh, he said he might be over later. Wasn't for sure. He does, does know he needs to come over and fill his feeder. But uh, we're going to give it our best shot. We may have to rethink where we're hunting. I checked my camera cards yesterday evening. That little doe, little fawn. And there's been a couple of big does come in. But there's no bucks. And the deer's not coming in that much. Don't know if it's the bear activity we have here or could be coyotes. Uh, Alvin sent me a picture from his camera from early before daylight yesterday morning before he got to his stand. He pulled his car that evening and he had a coyote go past his stand or past his camera. So we may have to rethink where we hunt from. We've got two other stands and we may have to start hunting from them. See what's going on. Of course, there's no cameras there, and uh, there's no uh, feeders set up. But, uh, but uh, mine, I noticed that in a travel route, they've got it wore down a good, good path. So I'm gonna cut the camera off right now and uh, concentrate on hunting. Stay tuned. Just, just jumped two deer down underneath that hemlock right there. We were coming out here to check our other stands. Jared was going to his and I was going to mine. We went down in this hollow. So we we're bedded down in this rain. That's the reason why we haven't seen nothing. If I hadn't started over this way, the, uh, we'd have kept walking the full wheeler trail. We'd have never seen them. But, uh, going out here to check where my stand's at. Like I said in an earlier clip, that, uh, may change our setup and start hunting. These other stands, but like I said, there's no camera, there's no feeder, so we don't know what the activity's like. But I do know across the road is a about eight to ten year old clear cut, probably a prime bedding area. Uh, kind of leave the camera going just in case I would see one of them again. Maybe get it on video. But where, uh, basically I jumped them because Jared was in the full wheel trail. Uh, they took off down this hollow. One did go to the right. The other went straight down the hollow. Uh, Try to be quiet, sneak in here. Well, there's more pine trees, so there could be a possibility that there's more berries under pine trees.
trying to remember where my tree stands at. There it is, I'm behind it. I can do some work to it. I haven't been on it for about two years. Have to replace both ratchet straps. They have broke. Locking cable still there. My seat still there. Everything looks good on it. So, it looks good. So there's a deer trail. I don't know if you see it or not. There's a deer trail right here. And uh, it looks like it's traveled pretty good. I don't see that other deer. That holler. That holler that them deer ran into is over there. And the one come in at an angle. But I figure they have uh, crossed the road. I don't see nothing here, but you got these pines where they can get in and out of the rain. Like I said, there's that deer trail. The only thing I hate about hunting right here is we're close to the road. Uh, probably hundreds. probably 100 125 yards away so you hear the traffic going up and down the road but yeah I may come over here and do a little bit of work on this stand get new ratchet straps on it get me an umbrella up and a bow hanger so uh, I can use this one and I much rather hunt out a stand like this than uh, the one I'm in now that new model they come out with is supposed to be a two-man stand. I hate it. Uh, I get another stand to replace it. Uh, this one will, uh, or the one I hunt in now, it will be out of these woods. I'll never use it again. But right, let me head over to Jared. He was checking his stand out. Like I said, we may start hunting from these other stands. But now you can see this trail. Goes right, oops, sorry, 
it goes right through there. So I'm gonna head over towards Jared's. Well, it's uh, 15 to 12 and Jared and I called it quits. Uh, well, we didn't call it quits. We come out of the tree stands about 9.30, 9.45 and decided to go check out our other tree stands. And of course, walking in there, you've seen the video clip. We jumped two deer. Not sure what they were, just seen their hind ends as they went down the hollow. I went out and checked my stand. I need to replace a couple ratchet straps. Uh, other than that, it looks pretty good. Jared's is still good. So we may move this next weekend to those stands to hunt. But uh, just wanted to give you an update. We're headed home. Jared's already turned off to go to his house. I'm headed home. And we appreciate you watching JJ2 Outdoor Adventures. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share our videos. And uh, we uh, thank you for watching and all your comments. Uh, until uh, the next time we're out, we'll see you in the woods.